Hello and welcome to Binary 101. The purpose of this video is to serve the viewer, yourself, a lesson in binary and how to convert a string of ones and zeros into a recognizable number in the decimal counting system. Hopefully by the end of this video I can take your mind away from the common thought that 101 has to equal 101 but it could also represent 5 which it does in the binary system. Before jumping into the binary system, let's look at the decimal numbering system to get a better understanding of it. Decimal gets its name from its root word dec, dec meaning 10. It gets 10 because it's a base 10 numbering system, which is evident down here. Base is 10 to the 0 gives us 1. Base 10 to the 1 gives us 10. 10 to the 2 is 100. 10 to the 3 is 1,000. 10 to the 4 is 10,000. All the numbers in which you want to count in the base 10 or decimal numbering system are represented with the numbers 0 through 9. There's 10 numbers in, all, in total. And how that works in a weighted table, which is where the uh, 10 to the 0, etc., etc., comes from, is 10 to the 0 gives you your 1's position, 10 to the 1 gives you your 10's, and hundreds, thousands, and 10,000's. So if we were to put a 1 in the 1's position, we have 1, 1. If we have a 5 in the 1's position, we have 5, 1's. So you have 5. A 1 in the tens position gives you 10, and a 5 in the tens position gives you 5 tens, or 50. In the hundreds position, if you have 1, you have 100, whereas a 5 in the hundreds position is 5 hundreds, or 500. And that's the premise in how the decimal numbering system is operated. Now we'll dive into the same sort of structure in the binary system, but the numbers are going to be changed ever so slightly. And here we start to look at the operations for binary. Binary gets its name from its root word by, by meaning two. Binary is a base two numbering system. Down here on the far left corner, far bottom left corner, you have two to the zero is one, two to the one is two, two to the two is four, two to the three is eight, two to the four is sixteen. These twos represent the base and the one zero through four right here, which it goes up to as high as you want it to go, represents the uh, operation which it's raised to which power. Um, if you wanted to find out what two to the ninetieth power was, you just multiply that out and you'll find out what it is. Binary uses two numbers, zeros and ones. Over on our weighted table, we have it drawn out. Instead of having a ones place in the tens and hundreds and the thousands, you have a one, a two, a four, and an eight. Now, unlike the, the decimal counting system where you can have one one or you can have five ones, binary is what was taught to me is a all or none counting system, meaning that one represents all, zero represents none. So if you have a one in the ones position, you have one one. If you have a zero in the ones position, you have none. If you have a one in the two position, you have all the twos. So you have one, two. You have two total, and you have zero ones. Again, if you put a one in the eight position, you have all of this eight, one, eight. So you have eight, and you fill in the rest with zeros because you have none of the other numbers. One, zero, zero, zero is the binary number for eight. Let's do a couple of uh, examples to kind of show you what I'm talking about on this. And we have a small weighted table with our 1, or 2, or 4, and our 8. And I got a couple of example problems over here on the left hand side a 5, a 9, and a 14. What the goal is is to convert the 5 into binary, a 9, and the 14. To do this, you simply look at the binary weighted table 8 and 5. Well, in the last segment, I said that binary is kind of an all or none counting system. And the reason why I said that was if you cannot use all of a particular number, you cannot use any of that particular number. All being a 1 and none being a 0. So 5. 5 does go into 8, but you cannot use all of it. So it's not even needed. However, 5 does use all of the 4. So it's held by this position of 1 underneath the 4. Well, if we're using all of this 4, we have our original number of 5, and we subtract that 4 we just used, and we end up with 1. Well, if we have 1 remaining, we come down to the 2. Well, we can use some of the 2, but we cannot use all of it. Since we can't use all of it, we use none of it. 
And then we come back over here to our one and look at the one over here. We can use all of it, and we do. So we end up with 101. Now, how do we know that 101 is equal to 5? Well, let's find out. If we use 1, 4, and 1, 1, and no 2s, we use 4 plus 1 is 5. Let's look at the number 9. 9 and 8. We can use all of that 8, so we do, represented by this 1. Well, if we use all of that 8, you take your original number of 9, and you subtract the 8 we just used, and you have one remainder. Well, we cannot use all of the 4, so we use none of it. We cannot use all of the 2, again, so we use none of it. We have a 1, here's a 1, so we'll hold that position with this 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0, and we have no remainder and no more numbers to use, so we end up with 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, how do we know that that's 9? Well, if we used 1, 8 and 1, 1, 8 plus 1 is 9. Let's look at a little bit bigger of a number, 14. We can use all of that 8 with the 14, so we use it with the 1. We take our original number 14 and we subtract the 8 we just used, which gives us 6, 6 remaining. Then we look back over here. Well, 6 does use all of the 4, so we use it, we hold it with the 1. On the left hand side, we subtract 4 from 6, giving us 2. And then we look back, we have a 2, we have a 2 remaining, so we'll use this 2 as well. So on the left hand side, again, we subtract the 2 we just used, and we have 0 left over. Well, there's only one number left, and it's a 1, since we have nothing remaining, that's going to be a 0. So we end up with 1, 1, 1, 0. Now, how do we know that this is 14? Same way we found out the other ones were. 8 plus 4 gives us 12, and 12 plus 2 gives us 14. All right, and for the last part of the video, I'm going to take this number over here, 98, and I'm going to convert it to binary, and then I'm going to convert it back to decimal. And how we do that is I draw my binary weighted table. I have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and 256. I would drew those out just to kind of show you how far it can go. It can also go, the next number in the sequence is going to be 512, then 1024. Anyway, how I got these numbers, if you can recall back to the beginning of the video, 2 to the 0 is 1, 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 to the 2 is 4, 2 to the 3 is 8, and so on and so forth. So this is 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 5, 2 to the 6, 2 to the 7, 2 to the 8, 2 to the 8. Anyway, so to convert 98 into binary, all you have to do is look at the numbers. Well, 98 could go into 256, but it's an all or none. So we can't use all of the 256, so we use none of it. 98 can go into 128, but it can't use all of it, so we don't use that one either. 98 can go into 64, and it uses all of it, so we'll hold its position with a 1. Just like before, take 98, you subtract 64, you end up with 34. So then we go down the track, or, or down the line some more. Well, 34 uses every bit of 32, so we'll hold its position with a 1. And we take 34, and we subtract 32. We end up with 2. Well, we have 2 left. 2 cannot use all of 16, nor can it use all of 8 or 4. But 2 can go into 2, and it uses all of it, so we'll use it. Then we take 2, subtract 2. You have 0. There's nothing left. So we end up with 1100010. And that's what the binary number is for the number 98. Now how would you go about expanding that from 1100010 to its decimal number? Well, if you were to take the number 1100010, and let's say this didn't even exist up here, you just attach the values above it. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. And all the positions that are held by a 1 value, you add together. So there's a 1 in the 64, a 1 in the 32, and a 1 in the 2. So you say 64 plus 32 plus 2 gives us 98. And that's how you convert a number from decimal to binary and take a binary number and convert it to decimal. I certainly hope this has shed some light and brought in a new understanding of how to 
operate the binary numbering system.